Dave, a responsible oil for Chalkadee and Tehe down the north, and his common name, Tehe Pele, Shkina Sky Corky, and Shalta Ure Alliance, sponsored by Alliance, Shalabarki Dave. And the city is from DG F. Akui, and it are Skull National to Gagan's Hill, and it's Skull National to Banyan Spiriel, Kali. Fern Gagan's Hill of Dukes. Over here, and it's from Captain Olivia Murphy. Over the door, Evie Sweeney. Over a tree, Ella Murphy. Over a car, Oren DC. Over a coin, Simon McCartney. Over a shea, Rachel O'Donovan. Over a shop, Peel Norina. Over a hot, Jessica Ellen Croner. Over a day, Eileen Bennett. Over a day, Saoirse Lumber. Over a head, Amy Griffin. Over a Dorian, Katie Leo Cannon. Over a Trinia, Holly Ford. Over a Cardio, Dominique Murphy. Over a Coydia, Mae Feeney. Over a Shania, Rebecca Crawley. Over a Shakia, Lara Garcia, no man. From Bonham's video. Over here, Hannah Hayes. Over a go, Ashley Murray. Over a tree, Leah Hurley. Over a car, and co captain, Holly O'Sullivan. Over a coin, Evelyn Smith. Over a shade, Michaela Kohler. Over a shark, Ellen Murray. They were hooked to co captain Sinead White. They were a lay, Leah Murray. They were a dead, Ethel Walsh. They were a hideous, Sinead O'Sullivan. Dorian, Megan Daly. Trinia, Freya Keller. Carbion, Lucy Hurley. Poodia, Maggie Ryan. Shadia, Nicole Murray. Shakti and Molly McLaughlin, Hukti and Tara Murray, Nadia and Trey Cullen, Fehe and Megan Austin, and his family and Tegan Mann. The ball is thrown in here for this um, DGF5 final, um, the doubles girls division 5 final between Goggins Hill and Balance Spittle. Uh, Balance Spittle girls looking to add to the success of their boys, whereas the Goggins Hill girls will be looking to avenge the, the defeat of that boys team. So we've had two Goggins Hill versus Balance Spittle games so far. Balance Spittle with an early attack and well thwarted by the Goggins Hill defence so far, but the danger is not alleviated yet. All falls to the ground, takes a shot, oh, hits the woodwork, rattles off and back it goes, shot is taken and Tosh Imahar for real, it's gone wide, and after a frantic 30 seconds, we can draw breath and get ready for this kick out by Olivia Murphy from Goggins Hill, captain the foreigner, the captain is the goalkeeper. 
Ball goes high into midfield. Beautifully won by Balance Fittle. It's hard to make out the players um, with the white numbers on their jerseys, but we'll do our best. Great chance there for Balance Fittle. She takes a shot and she puts it wide. Current year for relay, it's gone wide again. Really, really strong start by Balance Fittle, but after a minute, the score remains 0-0. High out from Olivia. It's well contested and again Balance Fiddle have the ball. They've started the better of the side so far. Good pressure there by Aveen. And out it comes by Goggins Hill. They'd like to launch their own attack. And they have a chance to do so now at number 12, Kate. Kate Healy O'Connell. Turnover ball, Balance Fiddle. They're really using that ball well around the middle of the field. They're attacking with venom. They're attacking with purpose. Good turn by this player she gets another chance at it she's already had a lovely shot that nearly went over the bar she has a shot here and this time it's the first score of the game it's a point for Balance Spittle and it's no more than deserved after a fantastic two minutes of football out of the girls from Corsi Rovers Line ball for Balance Spittle. They take it quickly. Every pass, kick pass and hand pass has gone to hand so far. They've been very careful in possession, but also very adventurous in attack. That one's just gone wide. If there was to be any mild criticism so far, it would be that they've been slightly wasteful in front of goal. However, they've shown themselves to be a very uh, dangerous team up to this point. So the kick out's going to be taken by Olivia. Olivia Murphy. Olivia goes wide with this one. It's well won there by Balance Spittle again. She kicks it into the middle. It's well taken by the centre back. She kicks a lovely kick pass. And now we have Goggins Hills. Let's see what their forwards are made of. She turns nicely. That is Searsha. Searsha Lumber, whose uncle Brendan was a Cork player of note. She comes clearly from a good stop. Balance Fiddle turned this one over, however. Kicked the ball over. And now there's a chance for goal. And it's blasted, blasted into the back of the net. And we're now, after three minutes of play, standing in a situation where it's Balance Fiddle 1-1. Gong until no score. That was goal scored by number six, Michaela Colin. She burst through and she blasted unstoppable shot past the goalkeeper. Number two there for Goggins Hill, Avian Sweeney. She kicks the ball up the field. Again, in the middle of the field, it's swept up by Balance Spittle's players. That midfield there uh, of Michaela Cullen and Ella Murray have been very, very visible in this game so far. Again, Balance Spittle have their hands on the ball. Bring it forward. Hand pass backwards. Good patient build-up play. They're looking for the gap, so the gap's going to come. As long as they keep possession, they're in control. Good stuff out of them. They still have it. Fantastic pressure from Goggins Hill. That's a great turnover. And now the pitch has opened up in front of them. It's gone long. It's gone all the way in. If they can get their hands on ball here, now they've got a serious, serious overlap. That's a good hand pass, but I think it's going to be intercepted. It's well read by the retreating uh, bounce bit of defence. And out they come. The 11 aside game leads for great excitement, great space, and real up and down action. Oh, I don't know what happened there. There was three players going for the ball and it has scrambled over the line and we are at two goals and a point to Balance Fiddle. No score to Goggins Hill. That was uh, got into the net. Come hell or high water by Megan Daly. So she can be delighted with her effort there. Hassig and Haring has been rewarded with a very, very valuable goal. So Balance Fiddle come again. Goggins Hill get the ball up the field, but it's again thwarted and it's intercepted by Van Spittle and they get that ball. Is it going to stay in play? I think it might. It's a bit of a tussle, yeah. Really, really hard work. Nobody's given up here as they look for the ball. So Freeman has been awarded to Van Spittle. It's 2-1. 
uh, to no score in their favour so far. Can they add to it now? They absolutely can. There might have been a small bit of early match nerves with some of their early shooting, but they've put them to bed very quickly and they've sailed into a 2-2 to no score lead. What can Goggins Hill do in response? They've shown no lack of effort up until this point. They've really, really tried their hearts out. Now they'd like to make that show on the scoreboard. That's a really good win. A number 11. Number 11 is Amy Griffin. Her Amy Griffin's uh, mother, Linda Sullivan, was a Cork Camogie player. Her grandfather is Johnny Sullivan, a stalwart of the Ballonhastic Club. The ball is kicked up the field now by Goggins Hill, and we're left with a one and one A really good chance, but that is incredible defending. Incredible defending, but it's been turned over again. Goggins Hill could do it a score, and they've gotten a point. They've put that ball over the bar. Ten. And it's number 10. Number 10 is Searsha Lumbard. Brilliant defending from Bounspittle to, to stop what looked like a very possible goal chance. But Goggins Hill got that ball back. They weren't going to give up and they got that ball over the bar. This is, again, asking questions. Amazing how quickly these games can turn. Now the momentum has shifted. Can they get another score to match that? They've got themselves a chance now. Amy Griffin getting her hands on the ball, but again, really, really good defending. A nice scramble. In, in the Goggins Hill forward line, it's intercepted by the midfield of Banspittle and up the field it goes. And as quick as that, they look to launch their attack. Hampas gone into the forward line. Nice use of the body by the Banspittle forward. And it's gone out for a wide. So, in the last couple of minutes, Goggins Hill have shown that they have undoubted potential um, in front of goal themselves. 2-2 two, two to a point, although the, uh, the difference is seven points. Two or three kicks above all, and the game is right back in the melting pot. So there's no need for anybody to panic yet if you're um, of the Ballinhasig persuasion. Great start, however, from the Corsi's Rovers girls. And they off again in the middle of the field. They get their hands in it. And they burst forward. Looking for options inside. She slips it nicely into her forward. Again, Ben Spittler on. Good opportunity knocking. Oh, that's a fabulous interception. Can she keep it in place? She can't, but that was brilliant, brilliant stuff. And it's going to be a 45 for Ben Spittler. Forty-five taken quickly, it's dropped in, there's a serious chance. Oh, it's hit the post! It's hit the post, and the rebound has hit the post! I've never seen the likes of it! Two unbelievable efforts, but somehow that ball stayed out of the goal, and we're going to have another 45. Unbelievable attacking play, great pressure, and somehow, somehow, their score wasn't added to there. It's actually going to be a kick-out. So again, Banspit will come after it. They're obviously buoyed by uh, those two near misses. They sense goals, they sense scores when they move up this pitch. Great little pass, but it's well read there around the middle of the field and it's brought up. Oh, that's a fantastic interception by Goggins Hill. Fantastic interception by Goggins Hill. And it's number five. Number five is Sive. Sive McCarthy. She kicks that ball up the field. Fantastic pressure, but it looks like it's going to be a, a ball coming out by the course of these girls, and it is indeed. Now, what can they do with it here? Good solo, good hop. Real good ground covered. Ball is kicked in cleverly. It's hard fought inside by Oren Easy from Goggins Hill and her opposition player. Another free in for Ballin Hassig, or, or for Ballin Spittle, rather. Free kicked in high, this time it's Imha Eriesh. It's gone right and wide. So, 2-2 two, two to a point. Five minutes left in this half. Real up and down stuff. So, kicked out there by Olivia. Olivia kicks it high. Can it be won by a teammate? It can. 
I think it's Keelan. Keelan O'Regan. She kicks it into the full forward line. And it's the back line for Bam Spittle of Ashling Merrick and Leah Hurley teaming up there to work that ball out. It's kicked into the middle of the field. Bam Spittle in possession again. They've joined captains are Holly O'Sullivan and Sinead White. Number 10 Aoife Walsh is the daughter of Deccan who's uh, an Argadine Rangers man who was a selector of Corsi Rovers this year and was a chairman of the West Cork board for a number of years. Great fight, I think it's still in play, it is, and Bounce will come out with it, but as we've seen in these games, the pressure from the forwards has really been something to behold and nothing is given easy as you try to work the ball out. But that's very, very effective play by Balan Spittle and they launch another attack. It's kicked directly in. Can they get their hands on it? They can indeed. Good forward play inside. Good teamwork. This is number three, Leah Hurley. Leah Hurley with another chance and it's kicked and it's wide. Very frantic stuff. The ball is going up and down the pitch. Hopping from one team to the other. You can tell how much this game means to the players, the fans, and everybody involved. Now, a bit of space. There's a two on three overlap. Unbelievable tracking defending. But Goggins will get in. Can they get the pass? Oh, it's just gone over the head. It didn't go to hand. Oh, what a chance that would have been. I think it was slipped in maybe to, was it Amy Griffin? And if that had stuck, if that pass had stuck, it would have been a certain goal and Goggin Till would have been back. But it was a brilliant pass, some great moves and just a small bit of misfortune at the end made the move break down. But Goggin Till are definitely causing problems when they push forward. We will not rule them out of this game yet. Here's Amy Griffin looking for another chance. There she kicks it in, but it's well read by the fullback for Balan Spittle. She's going to burst out of this up the field now and she's clearing her lines I was there a free given he had the hand up but no it's play on it's play on a kick ball gone in tester for the goalkeeper not a problem for Hannah Hayes Hannah Hayes gets it she delivers it intentionally and Balan Spittle can relax again for a few seconds but not too much with this pressure that Goggin Tiller putting them under Sideline ball and Goggins Hill have roared back into this game. A score or two for them now before half time, and you'd be licking your lips before the second half. Delivered high. Makes for a good contest. Again, the girls from Corsi's come out with it in the famous red and white hoops. Lovely hand pass, two lovely hand passes and up the field they go. They've used the ball really, really intelligently. Uh, obviously listening to the words and coaching of Miss Maloney and Miss Nick Gavon. Oh. And it's won there by Olivia, showing great leadership as captain. Takes a hop and clears her lines. Now, who can get their hands on this? Fantastic pace being shown. And really, really well done there again by Balan Spittle. Solo, a hop, will she have a shot? It's skewed off a small one, but it's going to stay in play. So a very dangerous attack could be brewing here for Balan Spittle. They'd really like to reassert their dominance. They started really, really strong. They've led Goggins Hill slightly back into the play, but what they'll be pleased about is they haven't conceded too many scores in that period. The ball's gone in now. Goggins Hill come out with it again. Certainly growing in confidence. That's fantastic football. That's fantastic football by Side McCarthy. And now, again, we're left with a bit of a, a bit of a chance here. Unfortunately, she slips, but she looks up. How will she give it? She's blocked down, but it comes back to her. A second chance. Blocked down again. Now, that is incredible defending by Balan Spittle. Unbelievable determination. Will to win. Shows how much this means to them. Um, but again, Bog and Sill are asking the question. So far, Balan Spittle have had the answers. The ball's kicked in. Beautiful hands. She takes the hop. She turns back. She gives a beautiful hand pass. And the shot is to the right and wide. Excellent half of football. 2-2 to a point. 8 points to 1. 7 point gap so far, but 
anybody's game in some respects. Um, if Brogans Hill could f start finding the net now, similar to Ballinus Pitt at the start of that game, you wouldn't rule anything out. But Ballinus Pitt will go in the happier with a 2 2 to 1 point lead. Ready to get back underway. Ray Tor Damien Horgan about to throw the ball in for the second half. Um, the first half really whetted the appetite for a strong, strong last 15 minutes here. The ball's thrown in. Ballon Spittle will be very happy with their first half's work. Goggins Hill certainly know they have work to do, but have also shown in periods that they are up to the challenge. So let's see how this one pans out. Ball won beautifully. Kicked into the forward line. Is it going to stay in play? It is not. It's a line ball for Ballon Spittle. Sideline ball. They'll be pleased to get away with that one after Goggins Hill won a great possession in Lorna Parker. So, long kick into the forward line. Won beautifully inside. Kicked in and it's going to be collected by Olivia, I would imagine. And she pans it down to her defender who's Avine Sweeney. Avine has a look up, launches a wide, long, as you'll be told by any trainer. And this time, she... Uh, kicks it out over the sideline up the field so Bansbit will get their hands on the ball again it's Iver Shea Iver Shea is Michaela Colin Michaela kicks the ball will she look for it back she will indeed lovely move lovely move slips it up and now they're on the attack again chance for Bansbit will score she got through a goal oh, that's fantastic she got through two tackles a solo and a hop and over the bar and that's 2-3 to a point now that's Ivra shot Ella Murray. Ella Murray with a really, really impressive score and a really important score at the start of the second half. And now we have Ivra shot for um, Goggins Hill, Keelan O'Regan. Ball is delivered long, slightly wasteful on this occasion, and it's going to be taken now by Hannah Hayes to get the game underway again. <coughs> so Hannah long kick it's gobbled up by the Goggins Hill girls and it's gobbled up by Keelan who's had a strong start to the second half um, she wins a free in for her team a very important free in will they go quick or will they try and take their time and put it over the bar Keelan ups for the second option size up her chance here now Keelan gets her Lace is tied by Ray Thor, Damien Horgan. What a fantastic service. Um, the management team of Goggins Hill is Jane O'Donovan, uh, Paddy Cronin and Richard McCarthy. So, Keelan's ready. Lines it up. And strokes that ball over the bar. Strokes that ball over the bar. The tied laces work wonders and she splits the posts. Two, three to two points. So, Hannah with the kick again. Hannah goes high, puts it into the mixer, and it is successfully won by Ban Spittle, and they launch a quick attack, as is their want. Lovely slip pass, and a real chance for a goal here again. That is incredible football. Unbelievable goal. A kick pass, a hand pass, and Aoife Walsh smashes it into the net. That is a brilliant goal. Just shows how football in its purest form, the ball can be just got up that field as quick as possible and the uh, three points can result. It's a great pass across the field. Is it going to go to a Goggins Hill player? I believe it is. Fantastic pace shown there. Their task has been made even more difficult now after the concession of that goal. But if I know anything about them from their performance so far, they're not going to give up yet. And they're awarded now with a little bit of a chance. Could they work something here? A lovely little hand pass. And oh, Ballon Spit will get their hands to it, but it's not, it's, they're not out of the woods yet. And that's fantastic defending. A lot of respect for the defensive efforts here from Ballon Spittle from the start to the finish. A club renowned for some seriously tenacious and hardworking players, and they've certainly added a couple more to the list today. Goggins Hill come out to it. Oh, that's a fine, hefty shoulder. This girl has caused problems for the Goggins Hill defence all game. She deserves a score. She's half blocked down this time, and it's going to be taken out there by Olivia Murphy. Olivia Murphy drives up the field. She'd love to lift that cup. She knows they need to get some scores up the, on the board and to get that ball up the pitch if they're going to do so. Again, though, Ballon Spit will come back down. And it's dealt well there by, is it Leah Hurley? No, not Leah Hurley, or rather Ella Murphy. 
and Ella Murphy kicks it off the field and this one is going to be dealt with by Olivia she lets it sensibly go out of play and with 10 minutes remaining we have a 10 point game so Olivia ready to get the ball rolling in now Look, looks at her options wants to pick out the right pass she goes wide it's intercepted on this occasion and there's a dangerous attack brewing for Ballon and Spittle here especially now after that turn what could I get from this oh great save but that's a chance oh a double save a double save by Olivia Murphy the second one especially looked like had goal written all over it it looked like it was only a formality before the ball would be put in the net somehow olivia managed to get herself down down low and save it and her team can be very very grateful for her as the fans um the fans clap their appreciation the 45 hits the post and out come Goggins Hill it's only as far as the sideline however but i think they have secured a ball for themselves which they'll be pleased about they need to get this ball up the pitch that's a good start, the pass goes to hand, it's gone to Keelan, Keelan O'Regan kicks long, that's a fantastic kick pass, and it's caught well, it's a lovely hand pass, that's beautiful football by the girls from Ballon Hasig. It's well won inside there by Amy Griffin, but it's dispossessed again by that aforementioned, um, intimidating Ballon Spittle full back line, and they've been the launch pad of every attack they've made so far. Another little chance there, that's a great kick there by Leah Hurley, Leah Hurley has been very, very good inside in the forward and wearing three but playing in the forwards um, Goggins Hill have the chance though to get their hands in it they do so it's Rachel O'Donovan she gets another go oh she gets a beautiful hand pass and away they go away they go great little kick in and again we're here with the full back line um, Ashling Merrick Holly O'Sullivan Evelyn Michaela all doing God's work in the back line there so um, their school I mean very very proud of them up to now Ball plays off there in the middle. Keelan again. Keelan has been absolutely everywhere in this second half. She has it again. She kicks it in. There's two on two inside. If they could get their hands in it, which now they have a chance. Oh, and brilliantly read again by Ban Spittle. I'm telling you this full back line have been putting in a memorable performance today. As has the whole defence. And obviously with a scoreline of 3-3. The attackers can be very proud of their day's work as well. So everybody is smiling and happy if you're a supporter of Ban Spittle at the moment. They won't want to rest in their laurels. They'll want to add to that lead. Good solo. Good kick pass. Finds it to hand. It's Leah Hurley. Leah Hurley with the shot. And this time it goes wide. So Olivia gets to take. She goes high. Very accurate. Bounces in the middle and it's caught by Ballon Spittle. Really, really impressed me, I have to say. Future of Corsi Rotherford's ladies football is very, very strong. It's Leah again. She's been everywhere in that forward line. She kicks a high one. Wide again. Her moment will come. She's causing lots and lots of problems inside. Hmm. another high kick out to the right wing There's a scramble for it a good fight for it a great tussle some great tussles are in the middle of the field on both from between both sides um, during this game it's been a real feature of it so Olivia lets this one trickle out again as we enter towards the last quarter can Battle Spittle see it out they put themselves in a good position or can Goggin Sale start mounting a memorable comeback it's long and it's secured there by Keelan Keelan's going to travel Keelan has pace what are her options now that's a great kick and it's out for 45 superb goalkeeping by Hannah superb goalkeeping by Hannah Hayes so after winning it herself Keelan's going to take this one she has a look up she kicks it long this one's gone to the right and wide. <laughs> it's 
such a great opportunity for these young players to play in front of their in front of their friends, their uh, schoolmates in such a prestigious and incredible stadium. It's a definitely a day and a memory, no matter the result, it's going to live long in the memory and hopefully inspire them all to keep going, keep training, keep playing and get back here again. Certainly there's a few players on display here and in the other games today that you would not bet against wearing that red jersey of Cork in this stadium in the future. Good stuff, great hand passing there around the middle of the field by Goggins Hill. Good use of the ball. Now they move forward. This is where they need to start making a count. But it, oh, brilliant. It's broken nicely for them. And they could they work something here. The ball goes across and it is gone wide. It's gone wide. Five minutes to go. It's 3-3 three, three to Ballon Spittle and two points to Goggins Hill. Of course, these Rovers girls leading the Ballon Hassett girls at the moment. Always a very keen carry down rivalry there. So... Quick sideline to be taken now by Amy Griffin. She has a look. Points out a few instructions. Little left-footed kick. And Van Spittle come out with it. Um, the flag is up, but it's been overruled or ignored, and it's play on. So we have Jessica Ellen Cronin with the ball now. Ellen Murphy. Ellen Murphy looks up. Chance for Goggins Hill, but again, they're swarmed in the back line. Unbelievable defending. Unbelievable defending. It's cleared, but only as far as the Goggins Hill player. She has a look up. Will she have a shot? She has a bit of space. She will have a shot. Again, it's gone wide on that right-hand side. So they are starting to ask some serious questions. They are getting a period of dominance and a period of possession. They just haven't really made it uh, count on the scoreboard yet. There is an amount of time left to get this lead back but that time is dwindling Damien Horgan again on shoelace tying duties <clears throat> is everyone a chance to refresh refocus get their shape back as they move into the end period of this game nice long kick out should be a Goggins Hill ball good solo good strength by number 5 that's Sive Sive McCarthy Goggins Hill have it again. They are not going away in this game. But again, this back line has just put on an absolute exhibition. An absolute exhibition. And really, although it's often the scorers and the attackers that are remembered, the midfield and the fence, their dominance, their endeavour has been a huge factor in this performance so far for Ballon Spittle. So Olivia takes another kick out. Time is running out. They're not, they're not uh, out of hope or out of ideas yet. But that uh, chance now for Ballon Spittle. And it's a kick and it is wide again. It is wide. So with about two minutes remaining, it's 3-3 three, three to Ballon Spittle and two points to Goggins Hill. Really, it's going to be goals needed at this point. It's again won by Ballon Spittle. They have just put in Trojan work. Their effort, their dedication cannot be question Need nor can it on the side of Goggins Hill but at the moment it's Ballon Spittle who are going to be the happier a lovely little hand pass takes the shot it's high it's dropping in it's well dealt with by Olivia and Goggins Hill have the chance to come out with it okay good pressure and there's a turnover there's a turnover ball and Ballon Spittle now in the forward line oh great turn and now there's the goal Ooh, what it's gone wide it's gone wide She's kind of under a bit of pressure. She was forced out facing a wrong angle and uh, they forced the wide. Ballon Spittle though will be very happy to keep the ball up on this side of the pitch. Obviously they prefer a score. A whistle blows. I'm not sure what for. Is there a substitution being made? So... Goggin still making a change. And oh, there's a free in the middle of the field. Free in the middle of the field to Goggin Sill, so they will look to get going from here. The ball's kicked in quickly, it's kicked across there to Iver Doe, Avian Sweeney. Avian Sweeney with a good one into the full forward line. Now we have a chance, now we have a chance for Kate. Oh, just trickles across the goal. She did everything right, just couldn't direct it on target. So Ban Spittle be happy with that one because it looked like they're under a bit of a duress there so it's going in the middle and it's Corsi's girls with it 
Number 18 there for and the ball is still being contested in the middle bounce fiddle of the ball but again Goggins still come out with the ball they need to make something happen now they get it they catch it they kick it it's gone all the way up the field and I think it's Maeve Healy now in possession Maeve drives at them but somehow bounce fiddle still hand firm they have had every answer to every question being posed by the Goggins Hill attacks so far no great direct run that's Leah that's Leah Hurley she had a couple of misses earlier. I said she was causing problems, that her moment had come, and she sliced through them, and she split the post, and it's no more than she deserved, because she has been absolutely outstanding, and she scored an outstanding point there to mark her display. So now, Balance Fiddle, they have enough done. The game is over. Seriously deserved winners. Colgardiga Steve, and it'll be great celebrating in courses, and Balance Fiddle today, as they celebrate a famous double.
Look at me, boys, look at me. Yeah, look at me. 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 Look at me